Welcome back guys and happy new year and what's a better way to start your year than with the ball pod guys eh? This is the ball pod podcast where we give you everything that has to do with football the tackles the news inside and outside of the pitch all the banter talk about it we are definitely talking about it I am Kelvin Washira I am Emmanuel Danzuki I think I, this weekend has been the weekend where all the teams, well, all the big teams are losing, apart from the biggest team in, 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 in the Premier League. Eh? And, and, and in Spain, that is. <laughs> because, guys, Real Madrid won and Barcelona drew. Uh, there was a lot of talk. I don't know if you guys had. There was a lot of talk before that Barcelona game where the, it was, it's a derby. And then, uh, the, the, the people are saying that Lewandowski should have been, should not have been playing because he should have been suspended uh, for something. There was a lot of talk, guys. There was a lot of talk. And then, the referee, there was a lot of talk about the referee not being being biased in that game and all that thing happening and they drew. So let's just talk about La Liga. Who do you think is going to carry this? Because Real Madrid won, I think they are going to be three points clear at the top of the table or something. Yeah, and uh, Barcelona seem to still be struggling and they have old people. So let's talk about Spain. Who do you think, guys? Who do you think is going to carry the table? Uh... <laughs> so for for some reason, mm-hmm. Espanol has always been beating Barcelona. Yeah, I don't know even, what happened. Even, even, <laughs> even the days of Messi and Pep Guardiola, mm-hmm. I think they, they they call it the Catalonia derby. Yeah, the Catalonia and derby. It, there's a lot of politics behind that, that that game. It's always a very tight tight fixture. So I'm not surprised Barcelona losing to Espanol. Mm-hmm. But I am backing Barcelona to to win the La Liga this season. Uh huh. I, I think but they, they seem get to back, be struggling yeah? yeah they're struggling but if, if they get back and um, what can I say and get their squad in um, in good form formation mm-hmm. I think they can they can challenge yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I just want to correct something I said that real one in front but no they, they are <laughs> they are tied on points they are tied yeah, on yeah. points it's just that uh, Real Madrid carried three points and Barcelona only took one point mm-hmm. but after 15 games they are tied on points so Billy who do you think is going to carry the, uh, the La Liga well, I have a bias. Uh, I have. I usually have a tendency towards Barcelona, mm-hmm. uh, but I have a feeling that Real Madrid have the steel to go all the way. I, I the way uh, you 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 can you can check on uh, the way the, the the Real Madrid youngsters are playing, mm-hmm. the likes of Camavinga in the World Cup. You tend to think that they are going to go all the way, uh, because. Um, to me, I think Real Madrid, uh, they they have more guys with more pace, and I just I just think that they will they will they will outsm- they will outdo Barcelona if you ask me. But mm-hmm. that is my opinion. Because mm-hmm. uh, again, I I like the way Barcelona usually play, but I don't really think that is a way to play, especially when you're winning titles and you don't have a good defensive structure. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, it's going to be a very tight one, but the reason Barcelona were able to get that, to get to where they are and be on points, I think was because Real Madrid lacked their talisman, because Benzema was injured for almost like a month or something. There was a time Couture was not playing, he was also injured. So there was, there were, the, the Madrid were lacking some very crucial players during a certain period and that was when they were losing. But if Real Madrid can keep Benzema fit, then I think uh, yeah, yeah, they, should, they, they should. should be able to carry the La Liga. Uh, uh, Barcelona are a very really good team, but I think they are sometimes getting caught on uh, on counters way too much. Yeah. I think that's the reason they did not even qualify in the Champions League and they are now playing Europa, Europa. League football. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be... I don't know, I don't know, because it's going to be tight. I think we'll have to wait until like the last two or three game weeks in order to find out. But Real Madrid are looking strong because they have very good young players and they're older looking good. Something we should also talk about. Tony Cruz is retiring at the end of the season, guys. Wow, finally. We should pay a tribute. <laughs> finally, really, really. <laughs> I mean, to me, I, I tend to think uh, uh, Tony Cruz and uh, his, his friend Modic, Modic yeah. uh, they, need, they need to pave way for the youngsters. Otherwise, uh, they this this young stars will, will be benched and uh, as in we just need to to go past. But if they're still good enough, why, why yeah. should they retire? Uh, it's the same way uh, you see Ronaldo has to go to, <laughs> <laughs> to Al Nasir. Yeah, so I just think that uh, they they have the they have the capacity to go past them with Sabalos and Valverde. 
and Kamavinga. I think they should and, get rid of and Jomani, and Jomani is how he played nicely. You mm-hmm. know, they, they can do this. They can do this. So, uh, what do you think, Dan? No, I, I think yeah, they, they should pave way for, for these youngsters. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think they, they've had their, their time. They, yeah. They've won a lot. Uh, they've been consistent for a long time. So, it's about time they... They okay. Play, yeah. To me, I say play as long as you are playing at the highest level. The moment you don't play the highest level, then you can retire and go somewhere else. But if you're still good enough, then why not continue playing? For Luka Modric, you saw what he did in the World Cup. He was carrying literally Croatia. That midfield of Croatia was being carried by Modric and the midfield was carrying the whole team. And they got to where they were. Cruz is still a very good player. I don't think at this moment they have a controller as good as Cruz somebody who knows when to increase the pace reduce the pace long balls short passes I don't think we have somebody at the moment who is wow. as good as him uh, his body maybe he's getting a little bit more injuries than he usually would but I think he's still good enough because you saw last season they were able to carry the Champions League which means the hunger is still there but I don't know I don't know uh, I have a feeling <laughs> that if if Cruz and uh and more want to play, they should just look for uh, another team and play. <laughs> because, because I think you're tired of losing to Real Madrid the Champions League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 These guys were literally there when Chelsea were thrashing them. Yeah. But they thrashed you back. <laughs> yeah. they, they thrashed you back they, last season. They, they, they thrashed us back, but it's not probably them. It's more of like Benzema turned up. Uh, so, <laughs> because Benzema uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's basically Benzema because literally Modric, why, why, Rodrigo, why, that cross why, why, that yeah, outside Rodrigo, of the foot cross by Modric but, but, but let me ask you something eh? mm-hmm. you can have one moment of brilliance like Ronaldo but then, does it mean that uh, this whole... Modric has more moments of brilliance. Don't say one. <laughs> yeah, Literally, yeah. he carried them in yeah, the Champions yeah, League. But, but trust me, trust me in a, in a Chelsea match, matches Mount has been overrunning Modric and you know. Until the last round of fixtures. Well, well, well that, that is debatable. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. I don't uh, know. I don't know. I feel they should continue playing, but let's end that debate there. Let's pay tribute to the man. Let's just pay tribute to Cruz retiring. Let's not debate about him retiring. I think he has been one of the best midfielders of the, like, the past five, six years. I think since Xavi and Iniesta, I think that he took the mantle from there. I don't think there's been a midfielder as good as him since he retired. So let's just pay tribute to the man. He, I think he had the highest pa- high, uh, pass percentage in the Champions League for like three or four, five seasons consecutively. Uh, a 90 plus percent. That's really huge. He was part of the group that won three Champions League uh, Continuously. Mm-hmm. He joined Real Madrid and then from there they became a dominant force. So I think he deserves his credit. He he, he looks like he, he's not quick and all that, but then that guy knows how to pass. So yeah. kudos to him. A very good career to Tony Cruz and uh, wish him all the best. I hope he becomes a manager. I don't know why. I feel he might be a really good manager. He sees right. the game differently. What do you think? Let's finish it here. Let's just give our thoughts. Do you think he can be a manager and how good of a manager do you think he can be? Uh, unfortunately, I don't know Cruz's character outside the the pitch, because most of them, these players who go end up being players, they have this leadership perspective in them. They they have a lot of uh, impact on how they influence the team during halftime talks, and also I I don't know, but I think with his quality, then he can make a good a good coach. Mm-hmm. Something interesting to watch out for. Mm-hmm. Well, I think managerial roles are are usually dependent on a lot. Uh, it does, it just doesn't uh, mean that because you're a good player you'll be a good manager uh, but again you you probably need like whatever that is saying some we need some uh, leadership skills like mm-hmm. you can command a dress room you also need to have some emotional intelligence so that you don't just make subs left right center because your team is losing and stick to the tactics, you know. Okay. So, yeah, basically. But I think he, he might be a good manager because he sees the game in a nice way. And, yeah, yeah I think... I don't know. I, I feel to be a midfielder, you need to, to be a midfielder who takes control of matches. Then that means you are a leader. He has been part of the Madrid group 
since b- before the the young ones started coming in so i don't think he will still be there if he was not a leader in the dressing room so just based on that and his player quality i, I think he can make a very interesting manager and you see most managers who are very good were midfielders i don't know how or why but interesting enough i think that's something i, I hope he becomes a coach or a manager or a coach at least or even if it's an assistant but it should be very interesting to see what his trajectory in the career but hats off to the man yeah. Tony Cruz, you are an incredible player. Let's. I want us to transition to the Premier League because I know that is what everybody wants to hear. But I want us to now talk about Atletico Madrid, and I want us to focus on the loan fee they're asking for Joao Felix, who is about to come to the Premier League. <laughs> Twenty-one million for a five-month loan. Is that reasonable? Well, I think this this Madrid uh, Atletico is a very they they like to see for money out of other. They're they're playing other, jokes. Other they're other jokers people. because I mean. For 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 Joao for twenty one for for six months or five months, it's it's out of the out of this world. That's funny. I people mean, pay it, for a player yeah. for goodness sake. I mean, for six months, it's 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 not. It's barely a season. Mm. Uh so um, uh, what do you think? But I think I, I think Joao is what is what the amount. Twenty one million loan fee yeah, for six months, cause, five cause, months. Because you're looking at what quality is he bringing to Chelsea. This is this is a guy who's coming in and probably Chelsea will start uh, winning games. The, the the attacking force will be much uh, stronger. So here's the thing. I had another player. There's this other player telling me you have to send for one forty. Uh, Enzo Fernandez. Exactly. So <laughs> if you're talking about one hundred and forty to sign a player, then it's it's fair to say that, that is six months. This no, is six, no, this no, is twenty million for six months. This is business. You can <laughs> get injured. You know, if you get injured for even three months, that is a big cost. You know, it's not like five years where even if somebody is injured for half a year or one year, you and, still can be able Maki, to get Maki, you, benefits. Maki, you cannot sell them. You cannot. Like, you cannot sell them. Literally, <laughs> you have to suffer with them until then. And, yeah, and if they if they go back they to, go their, back to the, the club, yeah, yes. you cannot sell him. I think twenty one is too much. Atletico are jokers, but so the, how, what's the average? Of, of I think six fee? million loan fee is enough. Yeah, a ten million job. package. You're talking about a player. I, I don't who? care even if it was Ronaldo. <laughs> oh, yeah, even if it's Messi, if you are being loaned, that means you're not good enough. Well, if well. you are good enough, you'll not be loaned. If you are good enough, then. That means so you say exactly. That that's that, that's my point here. You see, Atletico are not loaning out Joe because he's not good enough. It's because it's business. They know Chelsea needs him. Actually, it's rumored to be going to Arsenal or Manchester United as part of today's reports. Okay. I think Chelsea are just looking to hijack every Arsenal move because they also want Modric. But anyway, <laughs> let me see the La Liga. I want to see if. Atletico near. They are fighting for Champions League spots, so oh, they yeah. definitely need Joao. If mm-hmm. I think if they are loaning him, that means he does not fit their system. So it means they are most likely looking to get money from him, but twenty one million is too much. Mm-hmm. Either keep him or loan him for a very for a fee that is reasonable. Uh, twenty one is too much. Mm-hmm. I think a twelve maximum fifteen million package that includes that, even that's, the, the, that's the, why the, I, I for me if you ask me mm-hmm. even if you're doing twelve. Uh, I say twelve, like no, no, me, maximum. Me, 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 what I'm thinking is mm. people usually pay such kind of fees when it's like a, a season long deal. Ah, yeah, true. This actually, is just half. Ah, then half that season fifteen is too much. I think yeah, even that time. Even fifteen is too much. You never. I know. mean, it, 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 To me, I think. Uh, I don't know, but I think they 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 have. I'm 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 pretty sure that they're looking for the way to raise money. It's yeah. not even more about Joao and the. Fee. I think it's about money. They the... they they probably have a financial crisis or something, and mm. they are yeah. raising money. So yeah, yeah, and I think they also need to pay Benfica back. I think they're not done paying the the, the fee for Joao, so that's why they try and get as much money from their big yeah. assets as possible. Yeah. that's why they tried that stunt with the with the uh, Griezmann mm-hmm. and Barcelona playing him less games so that he does not reach the quota for the obligation to buy <laughs> until they had to renegotiate. I think yeah they have having problems but anyway Atletico Joao I think they need to reduce that fee in order to bring him in but I don't know Atletico are just too much let's let's talk about the, the Premier League guys what do you think 